I'm thinking about doing a long periscope in which I read one of Walt Whitman's quite long poems. Might actually take might actually take an hour to read. Slowly, but you know, it might take let's just say it took an hour. That would be an hour long show featuring the poetry of Walt Whitman. Featuring not in drum taps, but featuring some of the the later work. Um, would it, would that appeal to? Now, I'm assuming that you wouldn't be able to tune in for the whole hour, or if you did, that would be a huge bonus. But from the point of view of a reader, it would be very. Um, I mean, I'd be suiting myself in the sense that I wouldn't be breaking up the reading, and I'd be able to get into the into the song of the poetry, really, fully into the song of the poetry picking a word from Walt Whitman and uh, it wouldn't be snippets but it would be the whole thing um, any thoughts kind of butt right in here I was watching you there Nash and it you raised some interesting points I we always be concerned about like battery how long the power can last I'm also concerned about the semi-permanent relationship I mean you make these things these periscope, these scopes, I'm like where do they go, and how can you point anybody to them? So the problem with me is so much of my life around the internet has been asynchronous. You see something, somebody refers it to you. So depending upon a curator, they kind of say this is worth it. I mean, the reading of Walt Whitman, worth it. But like if I'm not in the same time zone as you, I'd rather probably just hear it being read, or pick up a book, the leather, leather bound poetry books I have, and page through those. So the ephemeral nature of all this video seems to me to be part of a throwaway mentality at this point, and maybe Twitter will, will knock it on its head. Uh, during your your scope, I I made a comment on Twitter, and Barnum Rich picked up on it. If video is the way this social web is going, and I think it is headed that way, man. More than a billion views on Facebook, video views a day, massive. So video is how we're changing how we interact with people. Uh, the bandwidth I get on, I have a new phone contract at six gigs a month. I'll blow right through that if I try to do this kind of stuff, walking around the streets. So video is where it's headed. I think it needs to be more than the mechanism that's currently being used. Like, it has to be more semi-permanent. Wait to find it, rewind it, find it in an archive. That's what I think. In my back garden, under the blue skies of Ireland, um, looks like you're looking at something you're going to show us something that you're eating. May have a look. Perhaps, perhaps the food is more easier. Just to show you. Okay, well, look, if you, excuse me, if you haven't any, any, any of you, uh, David, you like a long one. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. In fact, provided there's one person who would like a long one, I'll do it. Because um, when I started to write on the internet, I never get my own mentality, which was that I would write for just one person, my daughter, who was at the stage less than one year old. Provided I could produce stuff that she might be interested in in 20 years' time, I decided it was worth my while well communicating via a blog. And that's 2005. So look, David, who else is still here? Is anybody? Yeah. Uh, come on, Miss Sophia. Jessica, I'm fine. Actually, I love you. No, I'm not so fine. Thanks. Jessica, hi. And David. Um, and anyone else who's live. Thanks a million for your company. And I'll, uh, I will actually do a reading later on today of more poetry from drum taps and leaves of grass. But at this moment in time, I can't tell you exactly what time I'll do with that. Okay, bye.